Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Duplicity. Last time we played the station process and we learned that Mr. Asian could possibly be in a coma. And these are visions or something of the like. So, let's continue on with episode 4, The Last Session. That's enough of that for now. Oh. Huh. You're quite fond of this show, aren't you? Hmm. Oh, it was a TV show. I get... Oh, okay. That's cool. So am I recovering? Okay, awesome. come on. Let's get you down to the observation room. This must be starting to feel like home to you. Don't worry. I'll try and get you out of here eventually. I'm just in here. Hmm. Okay. Are we through in the next room? Just relax and we'll get started in a moment. What is going on? Like, I, I'm obviously in a like hospital. Did I go crazy or something, or am I? Have I gone crazy? All right, Mr. Asian. Now are you oh. ready? Just hit oh. record on the tape deck in front of you when you're ready. Okay. Okay. This is subject twelve nineteen eighty six twenty three. New session entry. We have myself, Dr. Alexander, leading, and in a room we have our patient, Mr. James Asian. Ooh. As we know, James has recently recovered from a two-week coma. Oh, it was a coma. Accident. In our last three sessions, James's attempts to recollect events of the accident seen him merging his memory with his imagination. These episodes have always ended in panic, and we've had to terminate the session abruptly. Let's try and do this one better, James. So when you're ready, let's bring this back. I know how difficult this must be, but you can do this. James, it's time to remember. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, I'm excited now. Your mind, it's like a conscious black box. It can show you your memories. Okay, Look maybe a seizure warning coming up here. So is that like a, in your a medical instrument? Episode, no, it's not. You recall the false memory of a remote weather station. You were isolated from the rest of the world, locked inside your coma. We interacted with you daily, encouraging you to wake. Your family would do number puzzles with you. Anything oh. really to bring you back. People need to know. Oh! Oh! Do you remember? Oh. I have another signal here for you, James. It's at 5610FM. You can't miss it. Oh. Oh, this is so cool. 5610. Ah. This is so cool. Oh, my. Okay, uh, too far, too far, too far. Type in the numbers, James. You gotta see this. This is 20 F, 12, 19, 86. Okay. 
Oh, we're, okay, we're back here. Okay, um, how do I do this again? Uh, tab. So test. Report. Okay, uh... Oh, this is neat. Okay, so the... Why are these all blank? Why are these all blank? Oh... Road traffic accident report file. Oh! What? Oh. <laughs> okay, just... Settle down. Okay. Okay, report... Oh, it's a... Fatal accident. 20 F. Fatal accident. Oh, so maybe it, maybe that pick, flashback was my like my daughter or something or wife or something. Pleasant Hill Forest Road. Um, can I zoom in? See this differently? Out of control. Empty whiskey. Oh, I was drinking. Shoot. Okay. Next. Nothing there. Nothing there. Okay. So is there something on this? It's gonna be something on the slide. Fatal 20F fatal accident. Empty whiskey out of control. 20F. Yeah, maybe. 20F fatal accident. Empty whiskey out of control. Hmm. Find the signal, James. Listen to the voices. You have to face it, James. Finally. Oh. 7,000 FM. Okay, 7,000 FM. This is very interesting. Oh, this is so cool. It's not oh. like at all. I've worked with Officer Henning for six years, and not once have we even talked about oh, alcohol. Drunk driving. He, he was a father, a husband. He was fine. No way he oh. calls this. It's him. Some shit. This Light Haitian flicker. guy. He's got something to hide. Light flickers on. Oh, where am I now? This doesn't make any sense to you. No kidding. Wait, I'm in the hospital? How'd I end up here? You step out in the hospital ward, only it seems abandoned. Your vision is blurry. I think that might be where I'm supposed to go. Hi! Something else is here. Okay, I'm going back. I'm going back in here. Is there anything in here I can see? Okay, I feel like that's what I'm supposed to do. Maybe. Some of these cabinets. They're all locked. Some something. They may, some, sometimes they make you watch your past sessions to see what really happened. Something about a hospital just is creepy in itself. Oh, I'm back way slowly. Just back. Back away slowly day room oh, and I got goosebumps you spend most waking moments in here so the splatter on the wall that's cool squirrel um, okay oh that's not good oh I hear something something oh I don't want can I can I pull the sanitizer must must sanitize Come on. Mm. you only caught a glimpse of the room I guess that's why there is no detail there okay oh so this is all just a memory okay so anywhere I've been is highly detailed Don't make me go back through here. Oh man, why is this getting me the goosebumps here? Why, why is this scaring me? 
Oh, no, I think I know what I, that noise is. I think it's upstairs. Thumping upstairs. It's, it's hard to tell what, whether it's from the game or from this. Oh, okay, let's go back. All the episodes were recorded to tape. This is the fourth. Okay. Oh, keys. Grab the keys from the table. They weigh heavy in your hand. Hmm, what are they for? It's, ooh, a tape. Today was the first session with Mr. James Asian. Although I fear it will certainly not be his last. When asked about events that have happened in the past, he confused fact and fiction and told us a story about a computer game that was talking to him. I think he was back at his own house mom and dad's house and he always talked about a room with a red x one he couldn't get in i don't know what any of this means or what it's going to do with the accident but i guess uh, some more sessions will maybe reveal that we're going to try again tomorrow hmm. hmm okay next can i leave can i leave nope where did that key go where did that key go Another door you've never opened. You don't know what's in there. Ah. The waiting area is dark. You feel a presence right behind you. No, you don't. 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 don't you... Don't you dare do that. Don't you dare do that. Don't you dare. Don't you dare play those games. No. Something... No. Standing... No. Just... No. Don't you dare do that to me. I have to go in here. Okay. Okay, what does this mean? You feel, you feel dread in the pit of your stomach. Oh, I don't like that. Am I gonna... Okay, am I... Huh. Okay, we have a 22-year-old male just brought in from a vehicle collision. He was awake and mobile at the scene, but collapsed on arrival to the emergency ward. Oh! The died in the accident. Oh! I'm getting no pulse. Oh, yeah, okay, that makes so and much more sense now. And give me 100 jewels. Oh, so it was my heart they were working on. Ah. Come on, 100 jewels. Charging up full to 10. Okay, uh, 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 that, no, that, that, there, yeah. Come on. Boom. Full, um, full, ten. Boom. Nope. Come on, hundred jewels. Charge out full to ten. Clear. Oh shoot. No reaction from first stage. Oh Let's shoot. Try higher. 200 joules. Keep the amp charged at 10. Oh. 200 joules. I'm working Keep on it. Charge at 10. Let's go. Clear. Okay, we have a reaction of some sort here, or a weak signal. Okay. Let's keep going. Increase again. 360, charge full. Come on, 360, hurry. I'm, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm trying to go as fast as I can. Clear. Well, would you look at that? It seems we have a pulse. Oh, Rhythm shoot. is stable. We need to run an x-ray right away. I like the eyeball on the screen. Okay. Where are we with that X-ray? X-ray. Going now, please. Uh, off of that, off of that, and uh, X-ray. Waiting X-ray data. Okay. Uh, what do I do here? Variable gen. No. Um, the this guy here maybe. Ah, it was that one. I can't believe I remember that. Looks like an intracerebral hemorrhage. We need to drain this Ooh. now. Relieve pressure. Prepare for trepanation. Oh, wasn't. Switch oh. on a drill, please. 
Okay, drill's on. And the drill, please. It's it's on. It's it's on. I need to turn it off. Mr. Asian, you've made excellent progress. You're doing great. We need you to stay calm and try to relax while we go through these next steps. Oh, I don't like this. Alleviate some of this discomfort. Oh, shoot. Oh, so... Oh, we're back here again. Okay. Sorry about everyone's ears. Oh, I am fascinated. This is... This is so cool. Not only is tonight New Year's Eve, but tomorrow you leave for a six-month trip abroad with friends. Mom, Dad, and your sister Jennifer have decided to throw a party to celebrate it all. The house is full. You, li you are in the living room, and as usual, you don't recognize a soul. The room is full of chatty strangers, mostly friends of Mom and Dad. There is a door to the hall. Okay. Hmm. Let's, uh... Exit. You push through the crowd into the hallway. The hallway is welcoming as ever, only this time the folks have put a great big banner up across the main wall. Half-finished drinks are abandoned on almost every horizontal surface. Stairs lead up, although the party is firmly downstairs. Okay, stairs, doors to the living room, and doors to the kitchen. Enter kitchen. They say all the best parties are in the kitchen. The kitchen is full of people and, lo and loud. There are drinks and food on the table, and the party is full in full swing. Dad has cooked a hog roast, which sit pr sits proudly on the table, although no one is eating it. Eat. Ugh. Um... There's a utility room and a writing on the wall. Also, Jen is here signaling you. Look, not, um, your signaling room. Go to utility room. Just as you are about to head inside the utility room, Jen places her hand on, on your shoulder. You hug. You're going to miss each other. You thank her for the party. She asks if you are enjoying the party. Uh, no. You tell her you're not having fun, she frowns. She tells you to enjoy it anyways, and to loosen up. She asks you to get her a drink. Get drink. You pour Jen a drink, and one for yourself, too. There's never an awkward silence when, with Jennifer. She always has, always has a question. She asks if you have everything sorted for the big trip. Uh, yes. You tell her, yes, that you have packed everything with plenty of room to spare. Another hug. Your, family's, your family have really gone out of the way to make their trip happen for you. It might be what you need to get some perspective and maybe not up so much. She's going to miss you. You're, uh, you are going to miss her. She walks away. Jen has disappeared into the crowd. You're left standing, nodding and smiling at the, at the approving faces. There's so much to do for this move. Can't mess it up. But first, a drink. Drink. You pour and down another drink. Anything to move the night along. Wait, can I do this? You pour and down another drink. Anything to move the night... Okay, so it's just the same thing. Uh, exit. You're about to go to the hall when you notice the utility room door is open. Uh, first. Okay. Go. Or enter utility. You open the door and peer in. You're never allowed in there normally. This is where Dad keeps his fine wines and whiskeys. Selling to floor cracks, a collector. Although he actually, he does actually drink them too. There's a bottle with a ribbon around it and a card. Read card. You pick up the whiskey and the card. It's your dad's handwriting. Son, we're so proud of you and everything you've achieved. You've earned this. It's a bottle of 25-year-old double malt. You shouldn't really, but... 
You have to try it. With your whiskey in your hand, you take it in the room around take it in the room around about you. There must be hundreds, no thousands of pounds worth of drink in here. You really must thank your dad for the whiskey. Yeah. Sorry, okay. Drink whiskey. You take a swig. It's probably probably the best and strongest you've ever tasted. Just wow. Uh, exit. I think you head back into the kitchen, clutching your new best friend. You st stumble out in the out of the utility room and back into the kitchen. There is one strong wi that is one strong whiskey. You take another swig and give the thumbs up to Dad across the room. He nods and winks. You go back out to the hallway. A few bumps and laughs on the way through, and you make it to the hall. You stop dead in your tracks. It's Jen, covered in blood. Okay. What am I supposed to do to that? Um, covered in blood. Help, Jen. You start staring straight at you. No one else is no. No one else notice notices. Um, blood is dripping down her face. It's mixing. It's mixing with tears. Jeez, help. Oh, what? What does that say? I'm going to something I I understand. I'm going out. I'm going home. Oh, I don't know. I don't understand. Oh. I think it's just. I'm sorry. I don't understand. Ha. Huh. I'm sorry, I don't understand. We tried our best, Mrs. Asian, but her injuries were too severe. Oh. No, I don't understand. I was just talking to her. I'm afraid Jennifer passed away before we could get to her in surgery. We did the best we could. I'm oh. so sorry. Where is she? Let me see her. No. Please, Mrs. Asian, take a seat. I don't want to take a seat. Let me talk to her. Now. I'll arrange for you to see her. In the meantime, James is in recovery. He's stable for now. I don't want to see her. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. You were standing in the hallway. Something has stopped you in your tracks. While searching your mind, your sister interrupts. She waves her hand in front of you and asks if you can drive her home. You still feel out of sorts. Those words echo. You sure the keys are in the living room? Li living, the living room has a much more relaxed atmosphere compared to the kitchen. Various guests are sat on the chairs uh, having civilized conversations. There's a coffee table in the middle of the room. Your mom is pouring a drink at the, co at the drinks cabinet. Coffee table, a drinks cabinet. One of the chairs is overflowing with jackets and coats. Take coat. You search through all the jackets and coats until you find yours. Aha, car keys in the pocket. You grab both. Exit. Keys in hand, you head back into the hall. Jen thanks you for helping her out. She has to work in the morning and no one else is in any fit state to drive. You think I am? You can handle it though. You know the road like the back of your hand, don't you? Yes, of course. Uh, I do. Okay, no. Uh, exit. Open the front door and walk it out into the freezing night. Oh. Cold air hits you. You are glad you have your jacket with you. There is a dusting of snow around you as you step down from the porch. The yard extends around the back of the house, and the car sits in front of the house. Enter car. You fumble with the car handle, confused, until Jen tells you maybe to use the key in your hand. 
use key. Bumbling with the car keys, you eventually get the door open and climb inside. I am in no fit to drive. The car is freezing as you fumble around with your seatbelt. Your sister opens up the car glove box and hands you a note. And a, a note. And a key that was inside. She tells you that it's for when you return. Okay. 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 Uh, leave. Or let's do one last look around. Let's just see. Maybe it'll mean a little bit more. The usual steering wheel hand. Okay, so let's just okay. Um, start car. You try to turn this ignition with sheer willpower, despite holding keys in your hand. <laughs> Insert keys. It takes a number of attempts, but you eventually slot the keys into the ignition. Start car. You turn the keys in the ignition, and the car roars to life. Drive away. The car squeals, but stays stationary. <laughs> of course. Uh... Release brakes. Oh, this is funny. You very hesitant, hesitantly release the handbrake. Uh, shift into drive just to be sure. <laughs> to drive. Put the car in gear and pull out the driveway like a first time driver. You really shouldn't be driving. You, I am driving very drunk on the road towards the town where your sister stays. John started dozing off as soon as the journey got going. This shouldn't take long. You come to a junction. Is it left or right? You, you can't remember. Uh, right. I'm sorry, I know. Turn right. You don't want to, want to, but you had better ask Jen for, direct, for directions. I cannot talk. Oh my word. Ask Jen for directions. She grunts and throws her arm to the left. It's left. Of course, it's left. Turn left. You turn the car left at the junction and accelerate off. Confident that you are on the right road now, you loosen up and put your foot down to, oh no, on the accelerator. You feel powerful as the engine roars at your command. Jen sits up in her chair and clutches, the, uh, clutches your arm. She asks you to slow down. Slow down. That's not what really happened though, is it? You're all over the place, James. Pull over. Jen is hitting your arm and yelling at you, crazy sister. Strange. There is a set of headlights coming directly at you, but really slow. Like slow motion. Oh. Slow down. You're trying to react, but your body isn't responding. There's nothing you can do to stop this. There's no way to control it. The lights merge with your car. The outside joins the inside. The James, for fuck's sake, pull over! James! The whole world around you begins to scream. It was at oh. this very moment, wasn't it, James? The moment you lost it all. Your sister. Your parents. Herself. And then you made it worse. Oh, no. Go on. Show us what you did. Oh, shoot. You wake up in the car. Your, your world is upside down. Your seatbelt struggles against gravity, trying to hold you in your seat. An impact into another car has torn a hole into the chassis. Poisonous fumes spill into the, your car from the engines. You are in grave danger. You have to get out of here. Car is broken beyond repair. The windows are smashed, and there is a wreckage all around. You are both where you are both wearing your seatbelts. Oh, thank God! So that okay. So this is where it maybe this is where in the second episode they talked about your broken like a broken vehicle or like a smashed vehicle or something maybe. Um, take take off seatbelt. Release yourself from your seat. Gravity takes over as you slump onto the roof of your car. Uh, take off or, uh, I want to help Jen. She 
She's alive, but she has been hurt bad. She's trapped in the wreckage. Uh, re uh, release. Jens. Jens. You have already taken off your seatbelt. It saved your life. You won't let me take her off. Take her seatbelt off. Hmm. Squeeze the wreckage and fall to your knees on the ground next to the vehicle. Every breath brings pain to your lung and your chest. Your head is throbbing. A blue car is smashed in the, into the passenger side of your car. Your life cannot be ruined by this. Your life cannot be ruined by this. You are standing holding your whiskey. Oh shoot! And your dad's note and flashing lights are approaching at a distance. Throw away bottle. You cannot just get. You cannot just some toss this away without thinking. This will. They will find it and will come for you. Well, I'm holding it. Um. Uh, leave. I'm sorry. I, I don't understand. Run away. Drink. Whiskey. Come on, James. If you drink this now, you are going to get what's coming to you. Put whiskey in. Oh, blue car. Okay. Maybe. Ah. With the lights approaching closer, you begin to hear the thrill, the shrill of the sirens. You simply cannot go to jail for this. You can't. You clean the bottle to remove your connection with the whiskey. You then very deliberately spill the remainder of the bottle's contents into the driver, onto the driver, and you toss the incriminating evidence onto his passenger seat. Oh, you monster. A circle of flashing light surrounds you, illuminating the crash site in the darkness. Behind them, an army of people are sta all staring. One figure steps out, a silhouette, and walks towards you. Um... As you approach the man, the pulsating lights around you get dimmer and dimmer while the pain in your head increases. I know you're tearing yourself apart over it, but no matter what you keep telling yourself, you have to listen to me. That accident. That poor man. Me. You have to remember. Mm. It was all your oh. fault. You left me there to protect yourself. Planting evidence on some poor man. You went headfirst into that officer and wrecked all of our lives. And then you couldn't even take responsibility. You did the right thing for you and no one else. Save yourself. Only it was wrong, wasn't it? Look at you now. Utterly consumed by it. Say it, James. Say it. Tell them. I'm guilty? It was me? Listen to yourself. It has to Is end, it following James. me? Oh, it's following me. Do you not understand? Oh my. This episode Get. you're having must come to an end. Use the tape recorder. I think we've made progress today, Mr. Asian. I guess we should tell the police what you've told us. Although I don't suspect it'll take you anywhere. I think you'll be with us for quite some time. Hmm. Come on. Let's get you back to your shows. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my word.
Wow. Huh. Just... Well done. Wow. Wow. So... Like... Okay, so... He was just blaming himself the whole time, and then... He was just... Oh, man, this is very interesting. Well, I hope you guys, uh... You guys liked that one. That was... Uh, stories Untold. Um, well done, all these, uh... These uh, developers and everything like that. Wow. Very, just a very well done, like, very well done game. <laughs> that last point there, there was a few points where like the, my skin was just like crawling. Oh, I don't know. There's nothing. Oh, just it gave such a. This game had such good storytelling. Ah, very well done. I would highly recommend you guys try this out for yourself. 100% recommend this game. Um, yeah. I wonder if these guys will ever make anything else. Or if they have made anything else. Developed by No Code Studios and Developer Digital. Hmm. Thank you everyone again for watching. This has been Stories Untold. Um, just absolutely a fantastic game. Like quite a quite a variety of different games but the end just explained it all perfectly and it was just fantastic i just an absolute fantastic game um if you guys liked it smash the like button or leave a comment down below let me know when you uh which one you like the best which episode you like the best thanks everyone for watching um and i'll see you guys later bye bye